At Havana's only skate park, a small group gathers to perform tricks, jumps and turns. This facility was paid for in part by the Cuban government with the help of international donors. But on this island, ingenuity and independence are important in pursuing a pastime sometimes frowned upon by the authorities. There are no skate shops here. Boards and shoes are often held together by tape and glue. Emmanuel Hernandez tells us that sometimes people bring new equipment from overseas, but often they have to reuse and repair what they have. In Cuba, there are only a handful of skateboarders, but they're already starting to attract international attention. Cultural exchanges have become more common, and many are excited about the prospect of change now that a normalization process with the U.S. is underway. I think skateboarding is a worldwide language. We've been like closed because of the things about the embargo and everything, and we need to open everything, man, you know, like just do it, and that's it. Globally, skateboarders aren't known for abiding by rules and foreign policy and politics certainly aren't on their radar. But here in Cuba, this small community of determined skateboarders, whether they like it or not, are slowly and steadily affecting change. Che Alejandro Pando Napolis is one of Cuba's skateboarding pioneers. These days, his main focus is on ensuring better conditions for a new generation. But he says in many ways, the skating community is a forum for people-to-people -people exchanges. We are a tribe, and we stay together. If the skater come to you and you see people holding up a skateboarder around the street, and you don't know the guy, you just, everybody go over there and say, hi, hey, I'm skating, I'm skating too. Where are you from, or wherever? And you start a conversation with this guy. And usually, it's going to be good. Skateboarding is still a minority sport in Cuba, but its global appeal and sense of belonging make it a vehicle for change. For many, though, it's not about politics, but simply having the freedom to skate wherever they want. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Havana, Cuba.